This is a game between a Grandmaster and an A player. The Grandmaster is black and it's black to move. Let's play from his side of the board. So let's conduct an offensive power move evaluation looking for weaknesses in the in the white position. See if there are any available power moves. So pause the video. Okay, you should have noticed this undefended bishop. I would also like you to pay attention to this x-ray. It's a very, very complex uh, one-two combination that the Grandmaster launches. But this x-ray figures in strongly. The bishop's uh, attacking the rook here. Remember, your plans should be based on or formed by the available power moves by trying to achieve a strategic goal that you might see uh, available on the board. And by knowing that you need to control your opponent, capture the initiative and maintain that initiative. And setting traps for your opponent when the occasion arises. But whether he falls for the, the trap or not, you should be gaining something in the process. That's how good chess is played. One of your strategic goals is to increase the mobility of your pieces. And knights placed in the center are often good places for them because they can hit most uh they can hit all of their eight squares. All things being equal, of course. You should never move move a piece to a square just because it's, you know, uh, generally considered a good a good move. It should be a preparation for an actual threat. Although it's not always possible to take immediate advantage of an available power move, the move the, the Grandmaster makes really illustrates the importance of looking deeply into a position when you see a power move and see if you can take advantage of it immediately. Okay, so his first move is knight to b4, threatening to bring the knight to, to d5, double attacking the rook and the bishop. But notice that he's offering the, the knight uh, in sacrifice. The general rule is that when your opponent offers you a sacrifice, if you don't see the uh, negative consequences to accepting it, you should you should accept it. But when you're playing a much better player, you have to be very, very careful. It's not easy seeing the consequences of capturing the knight, but an evaluation of the undefended bishop should have tipped him off. The A player accepted the sacrifice and captured the knight. And now I would like you to look at the position again and pay attention to the x-ray and the undefended bishop and see a way to recapture your piece because now black is behind a piece. So pause the video. Okay, now this x-ray is really coming into play here. X-rays are an integral part of the game. The bishop is attacking the rook once. And it's defended once by the queen. And now black can finally take advantage of this undefended bishop, power move number three. And the queen captures the pawn, double attacking the rook and the bishop. The rook is attacked twice now. White has to decide which piece to lose, and black has gained a pawn in the process. And open files for the rooks, another strategic goal. White didn't handle this well and pres and decided to give up his rook instead of his bishop. I don't know why, but that's what he did. And that's how the game proceeded. Of course, he went on to lose the game. And the undefended bishop <laughs> is still available. So always be, av be aware of available power moves, both offensively and defensively.